primary practice in life. That by fully loving ourselves, life unfolds beautifully. Unfortunately, most of us don't know how to do that yet. So one of the key components in fully loving ourselves is giving ourselves full breath. And that is really a simple thing, but most of us, again, don't know how to do that. So this, this clip will show you a very powerful and simple breathing activity called the Yes Breath um, that my colleague Maria Merloni is going to demonstrate for us and then we'll tell you some of the good reasons for practicing Yes Breath on a regular basis. So this is a, a breathing movement practice called the Yes Breath that was developed by Gay and Kathleen Hendricks that we believe in very, very highly. So what we do, and Maria's going to demonstrate it here, sitting in the chair. So if you notice, she's not sitting with her back up at the chair. She's kind of sitting toward the, the front end of the chair. Breath begins in the pelvic area. So she's gonna start by activating that part of her body and just by gently moving forward and backward with her pelvis. She's actually on her sit bones those bones underneath her, her glutes. Um, you want to point to them, Maria? Or no? Well, I think everybody will know what, what they, they are when they're rocking back and forth or, on them. It's okay. the bones that you will be able to feel um, when you rock back and forth that are okay. pressing against the chair. Okay, great. So you just move your pelvis as if it were a glider rocker or a porch swing. And just gently glide out, allowing your pelvis to move forward and backward. As you glide out to the forward, out front, arch your back slightly and just lift your chin. And as you glide your pelvis back, contract the back and drop the chin. So this is the movement part and if you notice you're actually putting your body in what I consider to be a, a nice big yes movement. Saying yes with your body. And we'll now layer on the breathing part so that Maria is going to take a nice deep breath in as she moves forward through the nostrils, breathing in through the nostrils, and then exhaling out through the nostrils as she moves back. And she's allowing her breath to just roll from the inhale into the exhale. Almost like your breath is a, a car on a Ferris wheel and it just goes up to the top of the inhale and then rolls down the other side into the exhale. I like to suggest that folks take about four to six seconds on the inhale and about four to six seconds on the exhale, giving yourself full, full breathing, feeling your lungs expand, and then emptying out all of the old air, stale air that may be in your lungs, letting it all go and then replenishing. One of the best reasons for doing Yes Breath, I think, is that your mind will match your body's experience of receiving what it needs the most. Receiving oxygen and oxygenating your brain. So then your mind will think thoughts that are in alignment with your body getting what it needs the most. Isn't that lovely? The opposite, unfortunately, is also true, that if we restrict our breath, then our mind can match that body experience and begin to produce thoughts and eventually realities that are in association with restricted breathing. So I won't spend much time on that, but I, I just want to highlight how important it is to oxygenate ourselves, to give ourselves fully what we need, and then think thoughts and ultimately create realities that are in alignment with fully breathing. about the yes breath because the yes breath is one of our basic practices that we do um, sometimes daily um, in our group we have a section at the end of each group where we do the yes breath and we do a loving yourself meditation and um, 
what I wanted, specifically wanted to say about the timing of the yes breath, you probably heard Karen talking about four to six seconds on the in breath, four to six seconds on the out breath, is that when a person slows down their breathing to that extent, it actually becomes physically impossible for their body to release stress hormones. So that is really important. You know, we talk to a lot of people who have problems with anxiety or problems relaxing, and it's actually, you could even say foolproof, to do the yes breath, your body will calm down. So um, I just, I really, um, I like to tell people that because it's, um, it just shows how valuable it is. Mm -hmm. The yes breath. It, the yes breath was originally developed by Gay and Kathleen Hendricks when they observed babies. And they originally called it the happy baby breathing because they noticed that this type of breathing, which apparently is the way we as human beings are meant to breathe, um, the babies that were doing it were happy. <laughs> so it's the opposite of what we call fight or flight breathing, which some people may have heard of before, which is basically when our bodies tense up and it kind of looks like this. <gasps> if there's some kind of emergency or actual physical threat, there's a physiological reason why we do this. <gasps> it's because right now my whole abdomen is tightened up and fight or flight breathing can become a pattern for some people. So if they're all day long feeling like there are many crises happen, constantly releasing these stress hormones, it's very, very bad for all the systems of our body. Like driving.